And we're back to learning ChatGPT and this time I'm going to show you how to generate images with it. It actually uses something called pollinations.ai but it also works in free version. So if you use 3.5 which is currently the free openly available ChatGPT version, this works. But if you make the prompts too short it might tell you that it needs more details. If that happens just expand your image description so white flower on a sunny day wasn't enough but green fields blue sky realistic style added to it that's enough it generates a little bit of text and then it takes a couple of seconds until you can see the image right here popping up but here it is and this was created solely in ChatGPT without any extensions what you need is this text prompt right here. Don't worry, I'll post it in the description. And I also post the source where I found it. It was on Twitter by this guy, Chase Lean. So I'm going to link to the guy, check him out. He's got interesting AI content. And here you'll find the alts in this specific tweet. You can copy this, paste it into ChatGPT, as I've said. 3.5, the free version, it works with it. I've tried it and I've used it for this tutorial and you can see it works. Let me show you just another example. I'll make it about Paris. I want the Eiffel Tower in the background, two people walking down the street, the sideway, with natural light on a rainy day. If you make it too short, once again, you need to add more details, but this was already enough. It doesn't look too bad. It's certainly not mid-journey quality, but you can try. And once again, it's free, so why not? On this, I can generate photos in ChatGPT. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.